I suppose you have some games. Hey guys, welcome back to Classic G Body Garage. Well, sitting here in front of me is my 78 Cutlass Supreme Brome. This is one of the most recent additions to Classic G Body Garage. If you guys have been keeping up with my channel, you guys saw when my buddy Kevin and I went and snagged this car with his trailer and his truck and brought it home and dropped it off, and here it sits. And you also saw it in the 78 Cutlass parts car when that car went off to the junkyard. I mentioned this car as well being one of the most recent additions to Classic G Body Garage. And you know what? I never really did any further videos on this car. So what I figured I'd do right now is just do a quick general walk around so you guys have a good idea of what I purchased. And uh, coming up in a couple other videos on uh, this car and as well as my 80 Cutlass Calais sitting here, you guys will find out what I have in store for both of these two cars. So make sure... You keep on subscribing, keep on commenting, and always check back with Classic G Body Garage because I'm always up to something, buying cars, selling cars, buying parts cars, whatever it might be. So, like I said, this is a Cutlass Supreme Brome. It's got the Brome, in Brome uh, insignia right there in the center of the header panel. This car did come from North Carolina back in 1997. However, it was brought up to the uh, good old state of Ohio and uh, driven for quite a while and then left to sit for some time. But, however, it is in pretty good shape, surprisingly, consider we get a lot of salt around here. So you can see there isn't a whole lot of significant rust on it. The doors look good. Quarter panels look good. You can see the chrome is off of it at the bottom and the quarter panels are clean. A little bit of a dent right there started to rust walk around back here you can see the uh, the bumpers in relatively good shape just has some surface rust on it and trunk lids in good shape you know the car is pretty clean it doesn't have a motor in it you can see it sits sits kind of high in the front it has the Delta 88 chrome rallies with trim rings they might be able to be cleaned up but here's the, uh, the passenger side quarter panels, nice and clean. Doors look good. Hopefully it isn't too windy on camera. So that's basically what it looks like. Let me uh, walk around and actually open up this door. You know, it has a little bit of rust on the bottom of the doors, but by all means, I mean, these things are in excellent shape. There aren't, they aren't flapping, no scaly rust or anything like that. It has a nice red interior in it. Dashboard's got a crack or two in it. Seats are kind of kind of garbage. But, you know, that's what you get with these cars when they're, you know, 30 plus years old. Look at Moby. He's in here already checking things out. Loves these cars. He always has to get in and see what's new. Check out all the new smells. What do you think, huh? What do you think, Moby? It smells like shit in there, doesn't it? Look at the back seat on this car. It's all ripped out of it. It was nice at one point in time. So it does have full power, tilt wheel, uh, power windows, power locks. You can see what the sun did to the plastic panels down in North Carolina. I mean, these things just get, just get so incredibly brittle, you can just break them apart. So, that door there let me uh, pop open the trunk lid real quick I'm not gonna get too detailed I already have some parts in here uh, filling it up just keeping some things out of the weather I guess but you know overall overall it's a pretty decent car let me open up the uh, the driver's door here show you guys what it looks like you know this is uh, actually kind of a unique brome this is the what this is all of all my years dealing with these cars this is my very first brome that I've seen with the vinyl top delete. It does not have a vinyl top on it. It does have the original paint on it because it has the uh, the factory brushed on pinstriping. So there's no remnants of a vinyl top ever being on this car. So I figure that's that's kind of rare actually. I've never seen that before. So here's the pass or the uh, driver's side. It has the uh, the brome silver gauge cluster in it. Tilt wheel like I said and uh, full power. Power seats power locks trunk release 
Uh, it has the uh, cruise control, does not have delay wipers. It's got the, the, uh, the clock right there in the uh, rear defroster. So, so there you go. This is uh, just a real quick, quick walk around of the, uh, the 78 Cutlass that I just recently bought. Most recent addition to Classic G Body Garage. And uh, be sure you guys always check back and uh, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be posting more videos on this 78 here. And like I said, the 80 Calais that's sitting here. And we'll be telling you what my future plans are for these two cars. And also, I have plenty more things coming up on Classic G Body Garage. If you saw in the 78 Cutlass heading to the junkyard, I did mention I was making room for a few more things. So, wonder what that might be. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video.